Hello, and thank you for joining this edition of Paris Grace. As you can see here, this is a suitcase. I came across this item a few months ago at a Sabre store, and I was really excited when I found it, but I realized that it was not a real Gucci suitcase. Now, this must have been made like in the 70s or the 80s, but I, I thought it was kind of cool, you know? I just thought, well, I don't think I can use it. So, you know, I, I prefer to use authentic materials whenever possible. And of course, if you can ever come across a suitcase, a genuine suitcase by Gucci, um, you know, in this style, they're not used in the way they used to be. Uh, but there, you know, there's lots of material that, that you can actually use for other things. Um, so if you're into that sort of thing, that would be really great um, to do. Um, so I passed it a couple of times. I, I kept browsing around the store and then I decided to go back and get it. I just thought, you know, maybe I'll hold off on this and maybe I can do something uh, one day. And then I decided to make this. So this is a vintage Gucci Parfum travel cosmetic bag. So um, these are still very, very much available online um, as well as eBay auctions. And you would expect to pay, I would believe, between 120 and maybe $180. Uh, and I just thought, you know, I know the material is not authentic. I'm not trying to counterfeit anything. But I thought for the purpose of a project and challenging myself, as I usually like to do, um, I thought I would like to try making this. Um, so I kind of, you know, by looking at the monogram, I kind of thought how much material I might use, what other materials I might use. So I'll go over that a little bit later. So this Parfum uh, toiletry bag is, um, you know, in particular, this one's from the Sherry line. So the web is the red and the blue and the monogram is the blue. And all of the leather accents are in a blue leather normally. But this also can be found in the traditional uh, green and red web detail and the brown leather. So um, this one obviously will be more like what I would attempt to make. Uh, this usually is lined in plastic because as you might imagine, uh, you know, carrying your cosmetics, creams, uh, hair gel, those types of things can spill inside your bag. So the, really the plastic is meant to protect the inside of it. And usually the closure is Velcro. Um, but anyway, so this type of bag is also referred to as a clutch because it really resembles a handbag. And so they're very desirable nowadays because you know some women will carry them around as a clutch so i hope that you will enjoy this project i hope you will stay tuned and thank you for joining me um let's see what happens in this project i'll be using um some cotton fabric for the lining i will be using some velcro for the closure and i will be using this material. I will also be using some blue leather.
So in thinking of how this um, project should come together step by step, I'm thinking the first step should be to add what will be the web design to this. After that is done, add the lining. After that step, add the Velcro to the section on each side of the back here and this side. Then add the leather piece accent that goes in this area. Then add the leather trims on each side. Then add the leather trim on the top and the bottom. So when I say add, meaning um, each of these features will come in those uh, particular steps. However, the way these pieces are attached will vary. For example, for the side pieces, I plan to do only the inner stitching. Um, for the top here, also the inner stitching. So what I'm planning on doing is adding, or using rather, the double-sided tape to just um, position this various um, features uh, as needed. So I've positioned a um, section of double-sided tape here across the back where the webbing will go. Now as I go along, I'm measuring just to be sure that everything looks okay. And there it is. Now I want to make sure that both ends of this web actually meet up an indication that these are centered correctly. As you can see, it does. stage um, the velcro is already on the part of the lining in the main panel is already on and so now the trick is going to be um, to add the trim and and make the, all this leather come together
Okay, so at this stage, um, all of the leather trims are on their particular places. I have done the inner seam on each side. Okay, so in this stage, as you can see, I've done the stitching. And naturally, this is still just a panel. Um, as I said before, the tricky part is always going to be sewing the sides, of course. So, um, in this process, what I will do is add the contact cement to both areas, that is um, this particular part of the side and of course the edge on this and I will match those two and just kind of let it dry and position it um, so it's ready for sewing later. kind of going over this one more time because um, I kind of let the glue dry. Um, I got my side panels mixed up a little bit um, in this process and so um, that glue that you see there was not evenly put on and also um, it kind of dried up. So. Remember, this is just um, to re, re um, I should say, just to help you position it in a way that can be ready for the stitching. I really don't like to use this contact cement, but this is what they use in this industry. Um, just how it is. So now I'm going to put a layer on the panel and also this glue I mean it's very stringy is liquidy at the same time so it, it easily gets on different places where you don't want it to get on. So you just uh, have to be careful as you work with it um, and as you can see you want to do it on both parts both things that require it in this case where the side piece is going to go and I think you have somewhat of a working time. Um, obviously if you're doing a very thin layer, which is I think recommendable, and I mean it's a good idea, um, just because a thicker layer is just not going to look nice or it may, you know, 
You just want to work with a little bit at a time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So um, I'm done with that. And I forgot to mention that I had marked my middle. So you can see that right here with the little white line right there. And I did the same on the center of the piece that's gonna go. So that's gonna be my, my guide. And let it kinda sit for a few seconds. And then I'll be ready to attach it. All right, so this dries very quickly and I've got the fan on, so I'm gonna move already. Um, this one also has the line right here, so I'm going to go ahead and attach that So you can see here Let's See where I'm at Let's See what my better view is All right, so I'm going to start by pressing the center of that and I also want to line up the edges of the leather as much as I can. Now here I'm not going to bother with the corner as much. I'm just going to go all the way to the end. Okay and you can actually pull back the material and position it as you need to. See right here it's getting very tacky and I'm just going to line it line it up as much as I can and here in the corner then I just maneuver it so that it goes where it needs to go I'm gonna, this is kind of taking some of the excess as I go now I will be um, doing the edge coat later on so any of this material you see or any of this glue you see Hopefully you will not see at some point. So now I'm going to do this side. Um, so what I did before, something is not quite right on this side. What I did before was add some of the microfiber. Essentially, it's paper that I'm using. I decided to use packaging paper. You can find that in different thickness or thicknesses so that you um, can give a little bit more body to your leather panels. In some projects, I think it works really well. Now, there's a lot of materials you can purchase um, so um, you just kind of look around to see what works best for your project so now I'm going to let this sit I don't think I should worry too much about it moving but I'm just gonna use these small clamps to kind of just help it stay in place and just let it dry So let us let's let it sit for a while. So as I was saying, um, these particular side panels have on the inside sandwiched in a layer of the microfiber or paper um, that you can get your hands on for your project. And of course, the way I've done it is, as, as you saw before, the main panel already has the lining and the side panels already have the lining as well. So, um, let's see if you can see that. Uh, I find it, okay, here's the inside. So as I'm attaching the panel right now, I'm positioning it with the glue. It already has sandwiched in the paper to, to kind of help this panel, and it feels much different once you add anything that's gonna, you know, stiffen it, um, and it's more manageable to work with as well. And it's just going to give it an overall uh, body to it instead of just, you know, a panel of loose leather. 
um, the only other way to do this would be to to sound to attach two leather panels together. That that will give it some body. But in this case, you know, you want it just the right kind of stiffness uh, that is still manageable to work with. That is not creating like too thick of of, of you know material. And so this one has the leather. It has a layer of the paper and then it has the lining on the other side and that's what I've done prior to positioning it in this manner. So here's an example of a Sherry Line Vintage Gucci. As you can see this is the same idea for, for the toiletry bag that I've made. But I know the color is the blue tone here is much darker than the leather I use, so I am actually thinking of perhaps changing that to kind of resemble more the vintage piece. I will be mixing these two paints. This one's a blue and this one's black, of course. So what I would like to achieve is a darker blue tone. Here it is guys. Um, I think that what really did it for this to kind of, you know, make the overall item here is changing the color of the leather. I think changing it darker um, just, just really accentuated and made it look more like the original. So I hope that you enjoy this. Um, this is the back side of it. This is the side. There it is, it's a clutch. So thanks again guys for joining me. Uh, please be sure to like this video, make sure to leave your comment, and make sure to click on the bell so that you can see when my next video comes up. Thanks for watching, see you soon.